Are you struggling to focus while studying? Do you feel like your brain could use a boost? Well, look no further. In this video, we'll be sharing 7 hacks to help you maximize your brain power and study smarter, not harder. So, whether you're a student looking to ace your exams or someone seeking to boost their brain power, this video has something for you. Join us as we explore the 7 hacks of the brain, all with the help of some wise words from Buddha and effective study hacks. So, sit back, relax, and let's get started. Number 1. Multimodal Learning To remember information effectively, combine visual and auditory methods such as reading, writing, creating diagrams, watching videos, and talking about the subject. Our brains can process information better when we receive it in different ways. Using a combination of visual and auditory methods can help us remember and understand information better. Reading and writing are great for processing written information. Creating diagrams or flowcharts can help you visualize complex concepts. Watching videos can help reinforce visual and auditory information. Talking about the subject with others can help solidify your understanding. The only real failure in life is not to be true to the best one knows. But it reminds us that learning is a lifelong process, and that we should always strive to improve ourselves and seek knowledge. Number 2. Pomodoro Technique The Pomodoro Technique is a time management method that involves breaking work into intervals, traditionally 25 minutes long, separated by short breaks. This method helps improve productivity by preventing burnout and increasing focus during study sessions. During the 25-minute work intervals, you should focus solely on the task at hand, without any distractions. Once the interval is over, take a short break to rest and recharge. A jug fills drop by drop. This Buddha quote emphasizes the importance of consistency in learning. By studying a little bit each day, we can gradually fill our minds with knowledge and wisdom. Number 3. Pareto Principle The Pareto Principle, also known as the 80-20 rule, suggests that 80% of effects come from 20% of causes. In the context of learning, this means that if you focus on the most important 20% of information or problems, you will yield the greatest impact on your understanding and retention of the subject. Prioritize the most important information or problems and focus on those first, rather than trying to memorize or learn everything at once. Number 4. Understand before memorizing. Memorizing information without understanding its context can be less effective for retention and understanding. Instead, focus on understanding key concepts and ideas within the subject matter and how they relate to each other. Once you have a solid understanding of these concepts, memorization becomes easier and more effective. Better than a thousand hollow words is one word that brings peace. This Buddha quote emphasizes the importance of finding meaning and peace in our words and actions rather than just speaking or studying for the sake of it. Number 5. Scan through pages. Scanning through pages quickly can help build a mental structure for the information by identifying key topics, subtopics, and relationships between them. However, to fully understand the subject, reading in detail is necessary. After scanning, go back and read each section in more detail to gain a full understanding of the topic. The one in whom no longer exists the craving and thirst that perpetuate becoming. How could you track that awakened one, trackless, and of limitless range? The Buddha quote is a reflection on the nature of the awakened one, or the enlightened being. It suggests that the enlightened person is beyond ordinary human perception and understanding. Number 6. Diversify. Everyone learns differently, and what works for one person may not work for another. Experiment with different learning techniques, such as visual aids, mnemonic devices, or active learning strategies, to find what works best for you. Maximizing your learning potential involves finding the techniques that work best for your learning style and incorporating them into your study routine. Buddha says, Do not believe in anything simply because you have heard it. But after observation and analysis, when you find that anything agrees with reason and is conductive to the good and benefit of one and all, then accept it and live up to it. Number 7. Overcome Distractions Distractions, such as phones or social media, can negatively impact your focus and concentration. 
Practice separating yourself from these distractions by turning off notifications, silencing your phone, or using apps that limit your access to distracting websites or apps. Separating yourself from distractions can improve your focus and concentration, making it easier to learn and retain information. Every morning we are born again. What we do today is what matters most. This quote by Buddha highlights the importance of the present moment and the power of our daily choices and actions. In conclusion, it's clear that our brains have immense potential, and with the right techniques and mindset, we can unlock it to achieve our goals and aspirations. Buddha's wisdom offers us invaluable insights into how we can navigate the complexities of life and cultivate a peaceful, productive mindset. By practicing his teachings and applying them to our study habits, we can achieve a better balance between our inner and outer worlds and ultimately live a more fulfilling life. So, what are you waiting for? Subscribe, click the bell icon for this type of content, and share it with your friends. Thank you.